What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a pop tag like Jake Paul in Vegas Pro 15. Now in the description will be this folder to download, and you'll see this is everything you'll get inside. So the Instagram pop-up tags, uh, I've made that in Photoshop, but the text we're going to be doing in Vegas, I have the pop sound effect, I have the template we're going to be using, and then here is the font. So I've also put the uh, actual zip folder, however the fonts from the zip, there's about 10 that come out. These four are the ones I recommend, and you can experiment which one you use. So the first thing I recommend you do is install these fonts here, and from there you can come to the Vegas file and open pop tag a template. Now when you open it, this is how it's going to look. Uh, it's a green screen along with this and it says casual savage because of course it's me. So what we do is come to this top track here, select this button and you can change it to whatever you like. So for example, because it's his pop tag, we'll put Jake Paul. And from there we can size it up so it matches the box size. So just highlight it, let's say 19, X out of it. Now you can see it doesn't look completely into place because his name is too small for this box. So to change that, come to this second track here and we can come to the track motion. And from here, just make sure scale about center is highlighted. From there, go to a corner and bring it in. There we go. And we can X out of this. From there, once you're happy with the way it looks, all you need to do is make sure this is set to best and full and then simply take a snapshot. So I'm gonna save it here, just keep it as image one and save. From there, open up another project where you want to apply this. So here we go, I now have a video of myself walking, as you'll see, just like this. And I'm gonna put the pop-up tag right here. So at two seconds, I want it to start. So I'm gonna right click, insert a video track, and here is the pop-up tag. I'm just gonna drag and drop this down. Now I know it says Jake Paul, obviously I'm not Jake Paul, but I'm gonna use it as the example. So first of all, we need to get rid of this green background and to do that, we're gonna head over to video effects and from video effects, we're gonna select chroma key and from chroma key, I recommend just adding on the default. Now from there where it says color, select the color box, select the color picker and select the background. So there you go, that's how it will look without the background. Now it looks quite big and of course it's not in the right position and of course during this video, I'm walking so we need it to follow me as well. So it's pretty simple to do and I'll end it right there. So for this, once again, we're gonna head over to track motion. Now, again, I recommend having sync cursor checked. I also recommend having lock aspect ratio and scale about center highlighted. From there, just size it down to the size you like. I'm gonna have it here, and I'm gonna position it over myself. Now, from here, you don't have to go by frame by frame because that's when it actually gets more inaccurate. So what I'm gonna be doing is just jumping across here and repositioning it every time. So you can see I'm not staying exactly frame by frame, but this will still turn out pretty accurate in the end. And last one at the end, you can see when you click at the end, you can't see it again. So just go back one frame by pressing the left arrow on your keyboard and then drag this back over where it was. From there, I can X out of this. And now if I play it through, you can see just like that, it followed me the entire way. Final thing we need to add, of course, is the sound effect. So pop sound effect, drag, drop this underneath. The pop happens right here. So now I can play it through, and as the tag comes up, the pop sound effect will also play. And that is how simple it is to create a pop-up tag like Jake Paul in Vegas Pro 15. Everything you need will be in the description for you to download.